all the way you gotta lift heavy than any other competitor you don't win the show on the day of the show you win it right now in every single rep every single party that you do yesterday was 4th of July you know I saw a lot of guys did two hours of cardio so I said okay I gotta do something better so I did three you know you come here you think okay I see a guy doing like five plates you gotta do six that's the only way you become a champion by, by going a little bit beyond the limit of other guys in your own limit, every single workout. All right, Trevor, I need your help. I'm gonna go right here on the top. Let's go down to three, do about 12 reps, real slow, contracting the muscle. Okay? Maybe four reps. Huh? All right, Trevor is the biggest fan in bodybuilding. He knows everything about who's gonna win, who's in condition. So I'm gonna show him right now who's gonna win the light heavyweight class in the USA's. All right, Trevor. Uh, Trevor, you're too light. That's popular. That's it. Feel your legs, feel it. Let's go, two more. One, let's go, feel your leg, breathe. So what I do now, like after two basic exercises, I do a lot of other exercises but like just three sets a little lighter now mostly focus on the contraction of the exercise um, so I, I don't go as heavy so normally like my workouts are like that the two first are two basic heavy duty exercise and after that follows exercise that will have a lot more mental connection with uh, the muscle group so actually losing all the definition in your leg more and more in blood is there very different from other muscle groups like in like you you like you're doing an arm exercise a shoulder and you actually see increased vascularity and increased definition and separation the legs are kind of unusual muscle the more you contract it you actually lose and blurry the definition of the muscle group so that's why you don't see any Bodybuilding doing any legs close to the show actually pumping their legs backstage. So we just finished our leg workout. Went really heavy today, starting with the six plates on the squat, then um, leg press, and then several other 
uh, exercise for thighs and hamstrings. So we're done here from the Gold's Gym Venice again. I always see you on the Mac. I'll see you again for our next workout. Very different kettlebell workout. See you guys for our next shot. Okay, it's July 12th. We're here finishing up back. It's, a, it's about 9.30 at night. We're 17 days out for my show. And then uh, what do you think? just a couple more weeks later for Derek's show. So we're sucking it up, pushing through it. Four 95 workers here at night still doing it. Low carb, no energy, and loving every fucking minute of it. <laughs> so all you people who don't like to train hard, if you don't want to be pro, don't be in the gym at this time of night. So that's our back. Today's our back thickness day, so we do all heavy movements. We did a T-bar row for thickness after a good warm up with pull downs and pullovers. Basic stuff to build the thickness in the back because you know shows the one from the back. And uh, and we did deadlifts heavy today, relatively heavy considering two and a half weeks out. Now what we're gonna do is a modified version of the bent over row. This one we like this one, I'll demonstrate it in a second. It's to help elongate the lats, keep the elbows close to the torso. It's gonna bring in more of the mid and lower lat to bring up some of that thickness and that V taper. That's one of the areas I need to work on, needed to work on. So all year we've been pounding it with different angles. What are you doing during the workout? That's all right. The whole workout he's been like, <laughs> and now you like waking up the lats with the end of the workout. <laughs> Gotta stay focused and get through this shit. <laughs> <laughs> we love this shit. What we do now is we had a, the end of our heavy back day. We've done uh, pullovers, we've done deads, we've done T-bars, we've done bent overs. Now we're using uh, one of Honey Rambot's principles, the FST7 principle with the machine to flood up the lower lats. So we really want to build up and thicken and bring detail to the lower lats. We're going to put a lot of blood in there. As Hani always says, increased blood flow brings growth. So I'm going to flood up the back, get a good pump in the lower lats to finish off the exercise, finish off the back day. It's 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Now I'm doing hamstrings. I'm back from my second workout. Um, Training everything twice a week. Have an AM and a PM workout. 
AM was quads, um, PM is hands. Sometimes I do hands and, and calves, so these are going to be hands. Um, we're going to do calves later on on Saturday this week. I train calves um, once a week, and the only reason I train them once instead of twice is because I actually just focus like about 45 minutes on them. So sometimes if I feel like doing like a short, short workout and train them twice a week, I do them with the hands and do them for like 10 minutes. But this week I'm about to do like 45 minutes just on the calves. And um, just doing two exercises right now for hands and you know, then do some cardio. And I'm out of here, done for the day. Pretty much it right now. Quads and hands on Wednesday. Today is I don't even know today's date. I'm out of it. <laughs> the 13th, I think it is. Yeah, man, I'm out of it. It's two more weeks, I know that much. Two more weeks and two days, and I'm ready to step on stage. Looking the best I've ever, I've ever looked. My best condition today is better to see that. Um, I'm very, very excited, and I can't wait. You know, um, it's not like being on stage to me, and I love bodybuilding, I love this sport. And the training is awesome, you know, you feel tired, you get cranky, and you feel moody, you know, and people don't understand, they think, you're, you know, you are suffering, but you love doing it, I know I do, and I, you know, I mean, it might take some sacrifice, and sometimes you end up giving the wrong people attitude you don't want to give to, but, you know, I mean, they shouldn't take it personal, because it has nothing to do with it, right now, the reason you act a certain way is because your body is going through a lot of stress, which is not normal for the body. You know, I mean, it takes a lot to look the way we look on stage. It takes a lot of work and dedication, and you know, I'm speaking for myself, and I train so hard, and when I'm training for a show. I put that before anything, and I just focus on that, and you know, and I set a goal, and I try to achieve it. You know, I don't like not being able to meet my goal. Like I said, I love bodybuilding. I will continue doing this for as long as I can. You know, I thought to be one of the best. Can you see that? It's like it sucks right there. Oh. I just feel that I push myself to the limits beyond where a lot of other people won't. You know, and I am um, July 29th comes. I'm gonna get on that stage and show them that, show them the best package I, that you know, that I brought so far to stage. Will be between 50 and 20 pounds heavier. You know, um, that was the goal to just come in bigger, better, while still maintaining my lines and small waist. I'm excited, I can't wait. You know, I've been training really hard for this since last year. Never took a break after nationals. I just came straight to all season training. And if I do win this show or win my class to get that pro card, look for me at the New York Pro. I definitely want to make that my um, pro debut. I'm really excited.